Hello everyone, my name is Making Sang, first name May King, and we are here at the Goga Celebrations 2023, where we are going to be hearing from a lot of Goga localities, some of the funders behind Goga, and we are going to be hearing stories of the impact that Goga has had on communities up and down the country. It's really nice actually to have an event that is just dedicated to celebration. I think obviously there's a lot of learning and sharing and insight, but it's also really good just to celebrate it and you know recognise those successes. So yeah, it's, it's a lovely day out really. <laughs> what impact has Goga had on uh, Nottingham? It's been a huge impact because I think one of the really powerful things about Goga is it really does give you the freedom to try, to have fun, to take risks, to fail and then to get to successes because I think it can be really difficult you know, in the current landscape to get so fixated in doing everything right that you don't end up doing anything at all. So yeah, I think it's been a really powerful tool for us to champion inclusivity, to break down some perceptions um, and I think whilst it's a time limited programme, the impact it goes beyond just the programme itself. Now, catch you were the first speaker of the day. How did that feel for you? Uh, well, it feels such a long time ago, um, <laughs> but um, an incredible bunch of people. So it feels like we're talking to friends, and I think that makes it ever so emotional, um, but really important to bring us all together and, and talk about the celebration of Goga today. And what did you talk about today? Um, I just wrapped it up really, so I just had a, a couple of minutes at the end and I did have a really long speech, and I, but obviously we didn't have enough time for it, but um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who was in the room and basically from the bottom of our heart, they've done such an amazing job on Goga and yeah, the celebration was about them, it wasn't about us today. It was just heartwarming to hear so many incredible stories and the impact that Goga has made uh, on the various localities. Were there any that stuck out for you uh, at all? I know it's like to use your favourite child. We're not really asking you to do that, but were there any particular stories that really resonated with you at all? I'm going to say it's the breadth of stories that resonate with me and the fact that there's so many different people from different walks of life, different experiences that Goga's had an impact on. And I think that genuinely shows how inclusive the programme is. So, sorry, totally on the fence. Love them all. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, I think I've got to sit on the fence as well with that one. I think there are so many like good stories, impact learning, everything from Goga. And uh, yeah, I'd find it impossible to choose one. And they're amazing. I think what was also uh, really impactful was the legacy. People talked about the legacy and what was going to carry on. We, you know, we heard about WhatsApp groups that were being set up. You know, friends that were being made. I mean, that must have been just so. That just made your heart sing and dance to joy, surely. Yeah, and I've heard so many people kind of say that. And the thing is, Goga was just the start of it for them. Taking part in the activities, I was talking to groups the other week, they'd gone to Devon with each other on holiday. So it's not just the activities, it really is kind of life changing for a lot of these individuals. So yeah, really great. And one of the other things that was talked about was uh, it's not about the numbers, but you know, the impact as well. I don't know if you wanted to say anything about that. Yeah, that's been massively important for the whole success of the programme. So we've been really fortunate with our funders that they've allowed us to do that, focus on outcomes. So we haven't been chasing numbers at any point, which has allowed us to build relationships, speak to people, take time, understand them, and to really pitch activity so it best suits them. So very, I think that's been the overwhelming success of the programme has been down to the focus on outcomes and not outputs. Like I say, for me, it's not just about managing the programme. I've actually taken part in the GOGA activities myself, so it really has kind of, you know, been through and through kind of me for, for quite a long time. So amazing, yeah, fantastic, and absolutely love it. Thank you so yeah. much, ladies. Thank you so much. And that was GOGA Celebration 2023.